Hey guys, in this video, I wanna go over the top seven builds as a contractor carpenter in 2022 that you should be doing. You're watching Timberman TV. All right, let's start from the bottom and work our way up. If you don't know me, I'm Nate Halverson. I go by Timberman. I've been in construction now, owning my own business for over six years, but I started as a young lad at 18. Check out this photo with my hard hat. Yeah, I was fresh and learning. Anyways, if you're anyone who's in construction and you want to know what builds are hot, popping off right now in 2022 that you can make some money, let's go through this list and you're not going to want to miss the number one answer. All right, so let's dive into this list. Starting at number seven, believe it or not, fencing has a lot of money to be made and a high demand. I typically don't market fencing, but a lot of people ask me while I'm doing other projects, hey, do you do fencing? I need that done as well. And honestly, it's easy money. It's easy to go in there and replace fencing. So fencing is definitely something that in 2022, and from here on out really, fencing is always needed. Check out some of these photos of some cool rustic fencing that I've done over the years. So I know fencing for you is definitely something you can do, especially if you're new into carpentry or newer contractor, start with fencing. It's a great foundation to build a business off and there's extremely successful businesses that that is all they do. There's a company here I know of in East Idaho that is absolutely killing it. Multi-million dollar business, all they do is fencing. So I know you can do it. All right, let's say you're doing your fencing and you want to add something else into the mix. At number six, I want to hit you with cabinet installs. Now I'm not saying manufacturing cabinetry, but just installing cabinets. There's a lot of money to be made in taking pre-made cabinets that the client has ordered for their kitchen and just showing up and installing them. A lot of people do not know how to install cabinets correctly. And it's something that once you learn this skill, you can make a lot of money just installing cabinets. Here's some cabinets that me and my team have installed at a couple of my flip properties. Start marketing that. You'll be surprised at how many people will hit you up and say, hey, can you come install these cabinets? You'll get paid well for it. All right, number five, shiplap and barnwood walls. This is something that is very beginner and basic in the carpentry world and the construction world. However, there is a high demand for right now having shiplap and barnwood accent walls. It doesn't just have to be the walls. Check out this picture of the ceiling that I did on an outdoor deck as well as this ceiling that I did for a trophy showroom. And these people paid a lot of money to have this done and it's not necessarily a difficult task. However, it is very labor intensive and you definitely have to know how you're doing, how to do the pattern and lay everything out correctly. However, at number five, shiplap walls and barnwood accent walls, or check out this wall right here. You can see the remnants of a cookie wall, which if you haven't seen that video, check that out. The link will be below. It's one of my top viewed videos on TikTok, and you'll love that how I did that wall with a chainsaw. Anyways, accent walls, shiplap, barnwood, something I know you can do, add to your list, add to your repertoire and make good money. All right, we're moving up on our list and the rest of this list is gonna be a little bit more advanced. So if you're watching this video and you go, Nate, I ain't doing fencing, I ain't doing shiplap walls, I got a crew, I'm, I'm established, I want something a little bit more advanced. Well, the rest of this list is gonna be for you. And if that's not you, continue to watch this because this will be you in a couple years or sooner as you grow with your skill and grow your company. All right, builders, at number four, shops and sheds. This is something I started to market as sheds that actually gave me a lot of business a few years back. I started to build, look at this one by the pool that I built, and then it grew to just recently I built this 30 by 50 shop that this person is using as a skate barn for the youth ministry at the local church, which is absolutely amazing. Now this is a very complex build. You need to know what you're doing. There's plans, permitting, heavy equipment, everything involved, but Everyone wants a shop right now. I'm in East Idaho where typically properties always come with a shop and a lot of people want shops built. And there's a high demand for shops, people waiting right now for me to build a shop. So if you're someone that has that capability, start marketing sheds and then start marketing shops. I know you'll get business and it's definitely a great money maker. And a lot of pride comes with building these awesome buildings. All right, number three for your carpenters and contractors out there is building bars and cash wraps. And I'm talking on a commercial level. I've been fortunate enough to build a couple of these 
One was at a Mexican restaurant. Another one was at this brand new sandwich shop that opened in downtown Boise literally in the heart of everything in a high rise building. These are very high money making items. You definitely have to have the skill involved to build these correctly. Typically these clients aren't as forgiving and they want things done on a timely manner and want things done well. However, the benefit of these clients is they do not question the dollar amount. When it's done and it's installed, you will get paid and you won't have to get haggled on the price. So I love doing commercial builds when it comes to bars and cash wraps or countertops. These are awesome. If you're already working in carpentry in your wood shop doing tables and, and starting to grow your skill that way, start thinking about how you can start to market on a commercial side for these bars and cash wraps. It's definitely a good money maker. It'll be a good uh, added bonus to your business portfolio as you grow. All right, guys, if you're ready for the last two, I had to hit you with my brand new dog. This is Oak. He's my new companion. He goes to all the job sites and he just wanted to be here to get you excited to hear the last two, which have made me a ton of money and there's something I continue to build even right now as we speak. What do you think, Oak? <coughs> all right, so let's get right into it. These last two are my bread and butter. I love building these. I have a passion for building these and I will continue to market and build these as I continue to grow in my business. At number two, it's patios. Patios are something that I've built for many years now and I continue to grow with how big they are, how elaborate they are, the magnitude and just the sheer size and even the timbers that we're using. This one right here that we just finished, that beam going across is almost 30 feet long and it's a six by 14. This is some big timber that we need some heavy equipment to lift in place. But I didn't always start building these. I started with much smaller ones like this. This is what I recommend starting with. As you grow your skill, understand how to build these. Everyone wants a patio. They create great shade in the backyard, a place to conversate, hang out, enjoy a drink. The patios is something that if you don't know how to build, check out one of my most viewed YouTube videos. It's right here on the huge patio edition. You'll love this build. It's one of the biggest ones that I've done. And let me tell you that costs a lot of money, well worth it. So again, at number two, patios. All right, it's the moment you have been waiting for. If you're a carpenter, contractor, and you want some good money that's gonna be there spring, winter, fall, summer, this is year round business, and it's easy business in my opinion, because it's all at ground level, typically. At number one, it's decks. I've been building a lot of decks lately. Most people that have wooden decks are switching to Trex. These are easier builds. Typically they're at ground level. A lot of these newer communities that they're building give you a little step out your back slider or a little landing of Trex and then that's all you have. So I can't tell you how many people have reached out that are moving into these new communities that have nothing that end up wanting a brand new deck. I feel like there's more need for deck than patios because a deck seems a little bit more like a necessity than an elaborate overhead patio structure. A deck seems more user friendly, more family oriented. So a deck is something that I definitely believe you'll be able to make a lot of money on. It's easier if it's ground level because you're not having to use heavy equipment to set all your beams and rafters. And it's something that you and one other person can honestly build. So Dex is a great marketing platform in terms of a product to start putting out there as you grow your business, it's something I know that you can do. All right, so we made it through the list. These are all projects that I have done, am currently doing, and will continue to market. If this video has helped you or inspired you, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to this channel, I'd love for you to be a part of this community and do so right now. If you're watching Timmerman TV, we'll see you next time.